Hey guys, welcome back to the bins. Today is Tuesday and it's time for a Tuesday tip. As you know, I've just been in Chicago and what you don't know is right before I left, I dropped my phone in the toilet. So I had all these plans to shoot some vlogging video for you with my cell phone that kind of went south. So I got back last night pretty late and I decided what I would do today is show you some alternatives to potting lilies. A good friend of mine, Dr. Ted Coletti from North Jersey Aquarium Society and the Northeast Council of Aquarium Societies, very graciously sent me several varieties and I should have gotten them in before I left, but they came the same day. So what I'm gonna show you is how I pot lilies specifically. So let's take a look at what I've gathered together and I'll show you how it's done. What I've done is I've gathered together several smaller buckets. Lilies do better in a solid container because they're heavy root feeders. And this allows you to add fertilizer tabs to the bucket that don't leach out into the water as readily. So I'm going to use my regular soil from the yard. I'm gonna fill a bucket about halfway to two thirds of the way full, gently lay the lilies in there, and then cap it with some, some gravel. Uh, really any kind of gravel can do. And then um, before I cap it with the gravel, I'm gonna throw a fertilizer tab in there just to give them an extra boost so that they'll bloom faster. And throughout the summer, about once a month, every four to six weeks, you're gonna want to re-fertilize lilies in order for them to continue to bloom. It's really pretty simple. Then once you have them planted, you wanna place them in a container about six inches below the surface until they really throw up some of their pads and then they can go as deep as a foot or so. So since Ted gave me some varieties I don't have, I haven't had before, I'm going to label my buckets so that when I pull them out this fall, I'll know what each one is. And I'll just make a note in my notebook. with the corresponding label. So you can see these got a little mushy and that's my fault, but I think they'll be all right. You have your roots and then you have what's called the crown of the plant. And you wanna set the roots gently into the soil, leaving the crown above. Then I'm gonna take one of my fertilizer tabs these are homemade ones. There's plenty on the market that have been purchased. Just press it in the soil by the roots and then do an inch or two of pea gravel or any sort of gravel over top of the soil to hold the dirt in, but leave the crown of the plant exposed. And then we can go ahead and drop it in a bin. And then I'll simply repeat that for all the different types that I have. This one is called Sunfire. Again, just place it so that the roots are in the dirt. Push in one of your fertilizer tabs. Cap with gravel, leaving the crown exposed. You wanna make sure you push the fertilizer tablet all the way under the soil. So initially I put the ones that were smaller in my more shallow tubs. 
And once those little lily pads breach the surface, I'll move them into the deeper tub. But we can see how much growth I'm getting already in just another week from these plants. I would assume that a lot of these will start blooming before too long. The four-leaf clovers are getting huge. You can see now too that the water hyacinth is really starting to split, or spread and split, which means soon I can move them around the other tubs more. Again, the pitcher plants are super happy. The little Venus flytrap is sending up flowers. This sensitive fern and parrot's feather is looking really good. These are the lilies that I had already potted before I left in our first issue of planting. And you can see that they've already thrown um, leaves up to the surface. And I'm not sure if I'll be able to catch it for you on video. But there's actually a flower bud that's erupting as well. So, so far those are doing really well. This was a single water hyacinth. Now it's quite a few. That mint has gotten enormous. And again, the bloody dock is just doing awesome. Really recommend that plant. I've moved inside to get away from the chickens and the flies. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stop by my Facebook as well as my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano. I also wanted to say I had a really good time in Chicago, and thanks to Chuck for coming out and telling me about his daughter, Taylor. As always, if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know below.